I want to talk about noise in the Philippines. Um, out here is probably the most relevant. As you can hear, there's only the birds singing, there's a bit of a breeze with the trees blowing around with the wind, but generally it's silent. Um, in the Philippines, if you're in a populated area, the noise levels can get quite high. Um, you find from about half six a.m. or you start well about six a.m. you start getting rooster noise. Six thirty a.m. you start getting the motorbikes as people go to work, and then it builds up and it's just noisy throughout the day. At some point, you get the tin can exhaust pipe go past on a motorbike. You know that really loud. Um, and although it's irritating you'll see it, you'll hear it every day because it'll no doubt be one of your neighbors because you'll be lucky like that <laughs> um getting away from all that noise normally means moving into a subdivision where you're sort of disconnected from it um you've got the big walls etc etc but i know even staying at a resort um because we're on the i think the second or third floor when you opened your back balcony you've got the local community even outside of the subdivision so you get that noise anyway um, level 11 seems very common on radios um, on stereo should I say um, but you'll find on jeepneys stereo can be quite loud you get the boom 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 because they install boom boxes um, traffic noise is loud fiestas can be extremely loud um, and the way fiestas work in the philippines is you can have a fiesta for the barangay you can have a fiesta for the town you can have a fiesta for a village or whatever. there's parties all the time I, I remember i went to 16 parties 16 fiestas in one month in the local area um, Mingalilia, out the back somewhere, um, there there's a fiesta where the sound system is so loud, um, you can hear it one and a half miles away. And I'm talking about it's loud, it's, it's loud even a mile and a half away. And that is common, that's pretty normal. Um, the thing with those is is book yourself into a hotel or something if you want away from it um, i normally schedule my work to be out the country during fiesta um, the first couple of years it's fine you want to be part of it but as i like a quiet life um, i generally avoid the fiestas these days um, but also dealing with people to get them to turn a stereo down it's being diplomatic some people are just awkward um, I remember a guy where his stereo system, it, this is, it's not the actual sound system, but it's, it's sort of relevant in the way people think. Um, he had a earthing bar installed uh, for his stereo because his stereo system is near the swimming pool. Um, he nearly got an electric, well, I think he did get an electric shock off his microphone and when he went to check, the the microphone had been ripped out uh, the the spike for the earthing had been ripped out um, from his ground asked the neighbor about it and he says yeah I did it because um, I wanted my part my car there now bearing in mind that land is the guy that got an electric shock it's, he owns the land he was letting the neighbor park there it's not a privilege it's a privilege not a right um, it ended up in some sort of dispute to the point where the guy that actually owned the land built a new wall um, and the guy had nowhere to park his car anymore that's Philippines that stuff happens quite regular that's why diplomacy is um, interesting um, I can only say interesting because a lot of it doesn't make sense a lot of it's to do with false faces people get upset and pretend to be really upset over things that are trivial um, some of it's very childlike. Um, it's tantrum throwing over stuff that, you know, in the civilized world, um, somebody would say, well, fair enough, you know, it's my fault. But in the Philippines, it's not always that way. So getting them to turn this down, down, it's being diplomatic, you know, it's like, if you say, 
turn it down or go over and switch it off um, it's not gonna go right but if you go over and say my kids are trying to sleep or I've got work in the morning or something that is saying look come on you know it's already 3 a.m. <laughs> um, people will listen to that more because it's it's just the way it is you gotta remember the Philippines um, average age is pretty low I think it used to be about 23 25 so you got um, it's all like all the kids are left at home while the parents are overseas working because that's literally what it is it's like all the older generations are OFWs so you got a very young population as such common sense um, takes less of a precedence over attitude and people complaining um, you know it's just part and parcel of, of life but if you're not if you don't like noise you're gonna find the Philippines a bit of a pain unless you get out into the provinces provinces can be quite quiet I like getting um, out like right out in the sticks about 6 a.m. Um, walking around in the sea because it's just that silence you know you can hear it the only noise you can hear is you walking through the water um, because even the people like fishing etc they're enjoying the peace and quiet as well where it's all gone wrong is it seems like technology <laughs> the motorbikes the stereos the mobile phones the um, the radio all that stuff has come from technology in the remote areas you find it's it can be very quiet very peaceful except for fiesta so just be aware noise will be an issue if you don't think it will be you'll be surprised when it is um, because a lot of people don't see it as an issue you don't notice it um, I have one tin part motorbike that bugs me but it's just like oh there he is again and that's it but I've got the same in Spain I've got one that does exactly the same uh, it's just something it's just ignore it adapt to the environment because you're not be gonna be able to make everybody quiet if you try you're just gonna upset the whole neighborhood um, to the point they can make your life difficult if they want to All right, thanks for watching yeah.